Well, in the 60s, I was a projectionist down in Springfield, Missouri. And the theater that I worked in was the Gilroy. And I noticed that down in the pit, there was a dark blob, which turned out to be a covered Wurlitzer style D theater pipe organ. And so I got to work on it to get it to play. And it did, and I played it, and uh, I was hooked ever since. Well, the Robert Morton organ was originally installed in the uh, Lowe's Midland Theater, and uh, it was taken out, and it moved to California where it was in a, a pizza parlor. And then it traveled to Columbus, Ohio, and then it came to Kansas City. And so then we decided we would install it in the music hall, and that's how it got here. It was a labor of love with about four or five people that worked on uh, Tuesday evenings, all day Thursday in the theater. And uh, it took us about five years to get it put in. Peter Pan film was made in 1924. And it was the first rendition of J.M. Barry's story about the little boy that didn't want to grow up. There were countless productions of it. The first 18 uh, featured a woman playing the role of Peter Pan. It started out with Jean Arthur, and then Mary Martin took over for a long period of time, and then Sandy Duncan, and then Kathy Rigby. There's productions going on even now, and the Kansas City Ballet is going to present it in February. So you need to mark that on your calendar. Uh, generally speaking, I use what's called incidental music. There were a number of really great musicians and composers working during the silent film era. And uh, they created a lot of what is called incidental music. And incidental music is music that is for the incident that's happening on the screen. So it could be a love scene, it could be a battle scene, it could be suspicious, it could be creepy. And so you pick out these various parts and you put them together to match what's on the, the screen. But with Peter Pan, something different happened. Carol and I were on a cruise in the Caribbean and there was a very good piano player that gave a concert. And in the middle of that concert, he played something called a Philippine lullaby. And Carol looked at me and I looked at her and we both said, Peter Pan. So that's where the music comes from.